here at Neptune Stadium for the Cork Science Festival for the last day of Science Week 2017. Let's go check it out. It's our community open day and today really is about taking science out of the colleges and into the heart of the community. You're trying to make science more accessible, is it? Absolutely, because we don't want people to think that science is something that just happens in labs behind closed doors. You know, science is literally everywhere in our everyday lives, as you know. It's about, I suppose, giving people an opportunity to experience science, to explore, to ask questions of the researchers that are working in their own community. Simon, so you're with the Black Rock Castle Observatory. Now, what's this behind us? Okay, so this here is our star dome. It's our portable planetarium. And just in a second here, we'll head in and have a look at a galaxy. Oh, brilliant. Let's go. Oh, Simon, this is incredible. Now, what are we looking at here? Uh, so this here, just beside me, is the Andromeda Galaxy. Now, this is the closest galaxy to us here on Earth. It's about two and a half million light years away. So what exactly is a light year? Uh, so by definition, a light year is the distance that a piece of light will travel in one year. And to save you guys doing the maths there, it is about 9.5 trillion kilometers. And uh, you can take my word for that. And so how far is the moon then? Because we've, we've reached the moon. Uh, so the moon, on average, is about 300,000 kilometers away, and that is just over one light second. Um, okay. So if you were to go on the Apollo missions, uh, that would take about three days. Shane, what have you got here? So we're here today teaching people about renewable energy, and this is a scale model of a wind turbine, so we're teaching people about renewable electricity, teaching them about climate change, and why we have to switch from using fossil fuels to renewable sources like this. By spinning the blades here, a little LED light in the back comes on, and that shows the kids just how easy it is to transform wind energy into renewable electricity. And kids and adults can really like see this and engage really quickly. Emer, you're with the APC Microbiome Institute and uh, you're going to be making poo? Yep, you've got it right, Jen. We're going to make a little bit of poo here, everybody. OK, so we're ready. So we've got a bit of cereal. So we had our breakfast this morning, but our mouth is a bit dry. What's that lovely wet stuff inside in our mouth? So let's add in our saliva. In it goes, nice and wet. Oh, yuck. So our teeth are mashing away here, but then we've got to swallow our food. So inside in our stomach, we have acid, okay? So we've got to add our microbes. So this is what we study in the APC. We study all about the good bacteria and bad bacteria that live in your guts, okay? So right down your large intestine, we have things like probiotics, okay? And these are really good. So we could really see this is coming together. So our large intestine, it isn't cotton wool, but it kind of acts like cotton wool, okay? So cotton wool soaks up some of this liquid in here. So let's see, this is gonna start looking more and more like poo. So here we go. Ooh, yuck! Aww. That is so Aww. gross. That's, <laughs> That's definitely got the ache factor. Brendan, you're from the Animal Roadshow and you've got two great looking snakes here. Can you tell me a little bit about the science of snakes? Yeah, well, a couple of things I love to tell the children is firstly, I mean, snakes have no ears whatsoever. They what? don't hear sound like us at all. Okay. They work on very low frequency vibrations. Now, actually, here, an interesting fact to show you now, uh, lots of snakes have fairly good eyes, like Cheeky Checkers here. He can kind of see what's in front of him. Okay. Now, snakes like uh, Philippe, the ball python from West Africa, his eyes are quite weak. Now, you might see he's got lots of, like, nostrils around the top of his mouth there. Yeah. Now, they're his heat pits his heat sensors. Okay. So he actually needs them to sense the heat, the size of the creature in front of him as well. Well, from me and from Checkers, that's it from the Cork Science Festival and from Science Week 2017. Bye for now. Science Week on RTE. See rte.ie forward slash science week.